hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and guys in this video today we are going to learn about you know the benefits of reliability the benefits of uh, predictability the benefits of uh, performance predictability okay and the next one is cost predictability it, it is very important okay because predictability if it is related to cost cost is very important so guys i hope this video will be informative and if you have not subscribed my channel please do it right away and uh, we'll learn about now the benefit of reliability first of all okay so guys first of all you should understand what is reliability okay because there will be a question they will remove this reliability from here and they will put this much of uh, you know sentence over over uh, over the examination or in the examination so you will have to select uh, the reliability from multiple options so you should know reliability is the ability of the system to recover from failure okay if any failure is occurring and continue to function so you will have to answer reliability here you will have to put reliability and the question will be up to this okay it is the ability of the ability of the system to recover from failure and continue to function and it's also one of the pillar of the microsoft azure well architected framework so this line is important for you because simple question i'm telling you one question will be coming and let's see uh, the cloud by virtue of its decentralized design naturally supports a reliable and resilient infrastructure with a decentralized design a cloud enables you to have resources deployed in regions around the world and uh, with this global scale even if one region has a catastrophic events the other reasons are still up and running for example what it is actually okay for example this is india okay i am in india this is india for example and i have one data center here okay and one data center here for example this is mumbai this is calcutta example okay so even my calcutta center is down if this is down still my resource will be available from mumbai so this is one reason and this is second reason okay so that is all about uh, reliability okay even this is down or anything is failure here your data will be available okay because it will be accessible from another running event from other 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 reason okay so this is the guarantee which is given by the azure and now you can see you can design your application to automatically take advantage of its increased reliability okay and uh, in some cases your cloud environment itself will automatically shift a different reason for you and uh, with no action needed on your part you will learn more about how to you know how azure leverages global scale to provide reliability later in this series so i will tell you about it in detail so as of now i hope you have understood it is the ability of the system to recover from failure and continue to function this much is sufficient to tell and very important you should make a note of this line only this is all about i can tell you rest of is up to you guys now let's see predictability what is predictability so guys predictability in the cloud lets you move forward with confidence so predictability it is, it is not it, it is nothing but it is going to be a process of you know making certain plans okay or forecasting something for future that is what we uh, call it predictability we are just predicting something to happen so predictability in the cloud lets you move forward with confidence yes i am confident i can do it this much blah blah kind of thing for this much cost or of this much cost so that is called predictability predictability can be focused on performance predictability or cost predictability yes why it is because see if i am spending 100 rupees so uh, i am predicting like uh, with the help of 100 rupees i can run five virtual machine and i can hire two engineers okay that is my predictability uh, and uh, i'm telling like if i spend 200 rupees so i can purchase a very good server hardware and it can perform to handle the thousands of uh, resources uh, so 
that is what my predictability i am predicting i am just taking some some sort of uh, uh, less resource and uh, less cost and hoping for the be be better performance so that is what we call it predictability uh, performance predictability and uh, cost predictability so let's see about the uh, i mean I will, I will discuss about uh, both separately but let's see one more thing here both performance and cost predictability are heavily influenced by the microsoft azure well architecture framework okay and uh, deploy a solution that's built around this framework and you have a solution that's cost and performance predictable predictable next one let's see about uh, performance predictability only okay so let's see i'm going just back so nothing here predictability in the cloud lets you move forward with confidence okay okay and predictability can, predictability can be focused on performance and cost predictability only this much is sufficient to tell you in the examination now we'll talk about performance predictability so guys Performance predictability focuses on predicting the resource needed to deliver a positive experience for your customers. Yes, that is what I'm telling. For example, this is my server, okay, and it should be functioning very smooth. There should not be any any latency and, and any slowness if they are accessing any, uh, uh, any any website deployed by me. Okay, very simple. Next. Auto scaling, load balancing, and high availability are just some of the cloud concepts that support performance predictability. Yes, these are the uh, features or services available we have in Azure, and these are very important about high availability. Already we have seen it is a ability to recover from any failure. Okay, load balancing, for example, if you have one server of video, one server of uh, you know. It, it is a load balancing actually uh, load balancing will uh, I mean, for example this is having 4 GB RAM and this is having 4 GB RAM both server 2 server server 1 and uh, server 2 and this server is uh, like uh, having 4 GB uh, RAM is consumed okay on this server so it will shift little bit uh, traffic to this one af after reaching to that particular uh, you know uh, strength or uh, strength i should say of this server so it will transfer a little bit traffic to this this second server so that is all about load balancing or uh, the auto scaling again if uh, if anything is required it can increase to i mean it it, it can increase the capacity of uh, that particular server or virtual machine automatically to meet that requirement okay now let's see if you suddenly you uh, if 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 you suddenly need more resources auto scaling can deploy additional resource that is what i'm talking about for example as of now you need one virtual machine only okay so same sort of virtual machine if needed immediately the demand increased uh, so it will create another virtual machine of the same same sort of configuration and it will deploy automatically so that is all happen only because of auto scaling okay and uh, and then scale back when a demand is dropped so when demand is dropped it will reduce this automatically it will reduce it will it will delete this one i should say in simple language the second one which is created so this is a configuration we have to do uh, on azure okay now let let me tell you about some more things or if the traffic is heavily focused on one area okay let me talk about load balance a little bit a little bit more here so for example i have area one this okay one server is kept and i have area two also here oh this is my area two okay uh, so if this server is not capable to handle uh, the request which is coming from customer okay so what will happen my this server one or area one is not uh, capable to handle the request request is coming to more so it will transfer little bit request to the server that is what all about load balancing 
okay and uh, let me see what i have taken more here so guys this is all about performance ability performance ability means what we have seen auto scaling how it is if needed it will increase the resource it will add one more virtual machine and load balancer is what if one server is not capable to handle the request uh, request star in queue so it will transfer to another location or another uh, server okay that is all about load balancing and if and uh, high ability i told you like if one server is down immediately uh, the resource will be available from another server so guys okay, these are the you know performance uh, critical critical concept of performance and we are predicting yes my i, I will be available to give you 100 percent high ability auto scaling load balancing that is all about predicting something now let's see about the cost predictability okay so we have seen performance yes they have given guarantee to deliver the best of their okay now we'll see cost so guys cost predictability is focused on predicting or forecasting the cost of the cloud spent yes how much i can spend how much i will spend kind of things okay with the cloud you can track your resources in a real-time monitor resource to ensure that you are using them in the most efficient way and employee data analytics to find patterns and trends that help better plan resource deployment so the the whole concept uh, whatever i spoke about this cost predictability is very simple you can monitor your resource utilization and how much you are spending and at the same time you can you know uh, analyze certain things reports and uh, uh, data to make a better decision okay how we can improve the performance with the less cost and less deployment what you should deploy what you should not deploy so all is available over there with the help of monitor resources or resource monitor so that helps you to uh, make better plan for future for current uh, i mean present also okay and uh, by operating in the cloud and using cloud analytics and information you can predict future cost and adjust your resources as needed yes that is what i told you with the with the help of you know resource monitor uh, and other things there are lots of tools available which helps you to define uh, I mean take uh, you know take decision better decision based on the reports available data available like Azure Advisor uh, Azure Monitor so you can make a plan accordingly uh, for future as well as uh, what resources you needed now you can even use tool like total cost ownership yes or pricing calculator so uh, what is the use of this the total cost of ownership or pricing calculator to get an in to get estimate or potential cloud spend so these two tools help you to uh, you know find out about the cost for example if you are estimating okay if you are estimating like uh, what should be the cost of this this plan so you can use pricing calculator if you are comparing between five years like five years four years uh, what is the spent cost or what will be the next four year cost so that is all about you can calculate with the help of total cost ownership so these are the tools okay which helps you to uh, do cost predictability okay i hope guys it is very clear and uh, here this video is over and uh, i'm done with this video a small request to subscribe like share and comment this video and in next video we'll learn about the benefit of security the benefit of governance okay and uh, till then bye bye have a nice time and please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment i'll meet you in next video